So welcome to Diary of an Inner Fat Girl and today we're going to be cooking one of my favorite things, Naija Local Fried Stew. But I am going to be showing you a healthier way to make something that we all enjoy. So our fish has been pre-marinated and I went ahead and grilled it. Then I have my cauliflower which is going to act as my rice because I'm making rice and stew. Okay, so here we have sea salt mixed with chilies and some other flavors. Um, this is something that you can easily make at home. It's something I make often. I have different ones for different things. Um, so I'm going to have to do a whole episode on that because that's a whole different topic. Then we have curry. And lastly, we have my own little homemade version of shito, which is basically onions, tomatoes, crayfish, all mixed in kind of like an oil to make a paste. Um, and then I've got my plantain, which is also going to go on the side. And I'm going to show you the two ways in which I cook my plantain. And then here is the content of my stew. Um, if you notice, there isn't any tomatoes. And that's just because I don't like tomatoes in my stew. I find that it makes it a little bit acidic-y. But a lot of people do. And you can feel free to put whatever you like. So I'm going to add things into my blender. This is ginger. As you can see here, it's come up to a boil. While this is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and mince my cauliflower rice so that's ready. And I'm gonna show you how to prepare cauliflower rice just on its own. Once again, my trusty food processor is out. We have our cauliflower and I'm not gonna use too much because it's just a side dish. So we've now got our cauliflower all riced up. And so I'm just taking, okay, the pan is hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rice into the pan. You spread out your cauliflower. At this stage, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. So all together, it takes about, I would say, two minutes, three minutes, who knows? Um, you just need to keep on checking and then when you see um, the tech when you've tasted the texture that you like you can go ahead and take it off just ooh, a little messy okay so you can see our cauliflower was here now it's our cauliflower rice so we've done our rice and we're moving on to our next accompaniment and that is our plantain now I've cooked our plantain in two ways I've air fried it and now I'm going to pan fry it and the reason is because some people don't like air fried plantain and I want people to understand there is absolutely nothing wrong with having pan fried plantain in the right oils. So here is some plantain that I actually pre-sliced earlier. So that is how we've made our pan fried plantain. But I actually want to show you um, our oven air fried plantain that I made earlier. Um, and you can obviously see the difference between the two. Now, with that being said, had I had put this in a little bit longer, they definitely would have gotten browner. These are the difference. This is what we like to see. But the truth of the matter is sometimes this is what we need. So I'm going to move this out the way and we're going to go back to our stew. And as you can see, Right now, our stew looks pretty like just tomatoes, plum tomatoes basically. And so the next thing that I'm gonna do is either you use your chicken stock, vegetable stock, or you make your own little stock. So basically, the way I made my chicken stock was I actually boiled the chicken and then had the stock afterwards. The first thing I'm gonna do is add my stock because the stock's already gonna have flavor from when you boiled it. So I boil my chicken with thyme, onions, garlic, and some curry powder. And that's basically all I put in my chicken stock. I keep it really simple. Now I'm gonna be adding my ingredients. Now is the time to add your ingredients. So I'm gonna put my non, you good? I'm gonna put my non Maggi Maggi. I'm gonna put my sea salt. I'm gonna put garlic. So what I'm doing now is I'm just mixing the content and I'm just leaving it to boil. 
And the final thing I'm gonna put is my homemade crayfish stroke shito uh, mix. So I'm not putting too much in it because it's quite a strong uh, flavor. And you guys, don't get me wrong, I don't use Maggi. If you choose to use Maggi or if you love Maggi, great. You can still use this recipe and it's still a little bit healthier, I would say, than you know the regular uh, stew. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a little more stock. We're leaving this to boil until the flavors come out to the way that we like. And then we're gonna do our final step of our stew. I'm now going to add my oil. That's right, I add my oil at the very, very end. We have our palm oil, can you see? And then I'm just gonna mix it in. And when you mix it in, it's almost like a joke, but it looks like local fried stew. So now that our stew is fried, I've already pre-cooked our fish. I go ahead and add that. I normally, obviously I would make a lot more, but I'm just making a serving size for myself. So you guys stay tuned. I'm just gonna plate the food now. And of course my favorite part, I'm gonna taste it. So I always like serving my rice first. And I'm actually just gonna use one piece of fish. I also find that plating your food also makes you, you know, enjoy it more sometimes. And you guys, here presents my cauliflower rice, my fish stew, and a side of plantain. So here we go, guys. Wish me luck. All right, so we've got the fish. We're gonna mix with our rice. And I'm gonna take um, I'm like DJ Khaled. And another one. And another one. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to eating my meal. I wanna thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please definitely like because I'm cool. Come on. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Snapchat. Please send in messages. Um, for recipes or if you have questions or suggestions, we're here to work together. We're here to grow together. And even if we're fat girls on the inside, we just want to work on being a bad bit on the outside. So thank you so much, guys. I'm really having a blast doing this. So thank you for tuning in. Take care. Bye. Some scenes.